it's Holly here from Your Past is a Gift. Okay, so in this video I wanted to talk about when we can't let go of a pain that someone's caused us. Okay, there can be so many different reasons why we hold on to it. Um, firstly, it could be the fear. You know, we're afraid that if we let go of that, then we open ourselves up to be vulnerable again for that to happen to us again. So as long as we hold on to that, you know, to that grudge or that anger or what do you want to call it, it protects us from someone else coming in and hurting us. Okay, in the same way. So that could be number one, the reason why we hold on to and we can't forgive and let it go. Okay, we think it protects us from going through that again. Okay. The second thing I believe, you know, it could be that we're, we're angry with ourselves because why did we put up with that? You know, with other people mistreating us. I mean, as a child, you have no say. I'm not talking about when you're a child because you're in the hands of these adults that are around you and you have to put up with well, whatever they're going to deal to you. You know, you don't have a say. For most of us as children, we didn't have a say. You know, we were told to just be quiet and, you know, to just follow the rules. We had to do as we were told, was basically. That's, that's what I remember. You do as you're told as a child, okay? We weren't listened to in the way of, you know, what we were feeling or those sorts of things. You know, we just had to do as the adult said. We had to follow the rules. So as a child, I'm not talking about as a child. I'm talking about as an adult when we can't let go of things as an adult that happened to us in our adult life, okay, maybe. And mostly, I'm, I think I'm going through where you have a partner that's, you know, been not a good relationship, okay, either they berate you or they've been violent towards you or whatever it is that you've gone through with that person, you know. Um, the first thing I think there's, there's an anger towards yourself that you put up with that treatment, because who does that? Who puts up with that? You know, that's not normal. <laughs> like I said, there is no such thing as normal. But we have this idea of what normal is, you know, in our minds. So there's an anger towards yourself. You know, you can't forgive yourself for having put up with that and not walked away from it. You know, for whatever reason. You know, there's, there's usually a fear that's created throughout the relationship that makes you feel that you can't leave. There'll be so many reasons why you can't leave, you know. But then later when you have left and you're looking back on that relationship and you're full of anger for what's happened and all this pain comes back, one of the reasons is that you can't forgive yourself that you put up with that. How could I have done that, you know? So the truth of that is, you see, at the time you feel that you deserve that no matter how horrible the treatment is okay it's because of what you've been through in your childhood that you've already come into adult life thinking that you don't deserve that you're not good enough that you were unwanted the whole list of things that we, all the baggage that we bring from our childhood into our adult life and so we don't honestly believe that we deserve to have someone nice in our lives it's going to treat us with dignity and respect and it's going to listen to us and it's going to love us. We're not going to be expecting that in our adult life if we didn't have it at all in our childhood. We don't even know what that looks like. We know what the other one feels like because we're used to that. We've had many, many years of training in that, you know, and being treated like crap for years and years and years. We know what that feels like. We know what that looks like. We can do that. Okay, and for many of us, we think that that's what we deserve. That's all we've had, that's all we've got. That's what we deserve. We don't deserve anything else. This is what we believe because of what we've already been through. Okay? But that's not the truth. That's not the truth. And the day you realize that you've always been good enough, Okay? The day you realize that you've always deserved to be loved, always, in the best way, with honesty, with respect, 
real love, unconditional love, not because of what you can give, but because of who you are, not because of what you have, not because of what you do. That's not love. You know, the love of another person because of who you are, not because of what you can give them. not because of what you own or the titles that you have but because of who you are you deserve to be loved just for that and so many of us because of what we've been through we've covered it up so well we don't even know you know there's so many layers that we've piled on top because we don't want to look at that scared little child anymore we've blocked it out we don't want to look at it anymore who that little child is that deserved to be loved just for who they were we've lost that and if we could just get back to that to that child if you can just get back to that and peel away all that pain just peel it away, take it away because you have the power to do that, not anyone else only you have the power to do that. To take away every pain that you have ever felt. You have the power to decide today. I deserve to be loved for who I am. Because I am a human being. And my heart is full of love. And it hurts us when we can't use that. It hurts us, it creates all these problems in our lives when we can't love because that's what we're here for, to experience that love, that explosion of the heart for everything in our life, for ourselves, for our own lives, for our own existence. No one's taught you to appreciate that you're even here, that you exist. And that should be the biggest celebration. You are here. You exist. Have love for that. There is a reason that you are here. Even if to this day you have not worked it out, what is the point? My life has no meaning. If you're at that point where I was at the end of my teens, there is a reason that you are here. I promise you my darlings I love you guys remember to click like and subscribe below so you don't miss any of the messages and I'll see you in the next video bye for now